when David Lang pitches a story about genius and isolation and alienation and beauty, there was some sort of amongst non-technical people discussing what that would look like. Someone in the building, namely Neil, would know how to make that happen. He had this idea that it would be a person standing basically a few feet away from the mezzanine and just talking to the mezzanine. He said, I want the guy to be kind of floating there, to be right there in their face and be isolated from the rest of the room. And that's tricky, because most of the time when people perform in the Opera House, they perform on the stage. You can see some of the relationships in this drawing. And what you're seeing here is the little acting space here. You can see the guy standing up there with a the chair. And we can cover all the seats in the lower orchestra in black fabric, and that would create the floating experience. If you've got a person here, then they can see all the way back here that there's a piano. I would say that BAM has a long history of presenting unusual and physically challenging shows. For Pina Balsh, it rains all the time. We did a show that everything in the scene was made out of ice. So we had ice plates, we had ice glasses, we had ice chandeliers, we had ice balls to be juggled. And at the end of the scene, everything got thrown up in the air and came crashing down. Then there was a lot of mopping to do. We have lit walls on fire. We have had walls that bleed. So we had a company a number of years ago. What they wanted to do was stretch a circus net. And the idea would be that that would allow the performers to be able to jump off the balcony in the Harvey, land in the net, sometimes in a wheelchair, and then jump off the wheelchair and onto the stage. At BAM, we love to do the cool idea. We love to do the thing that no one's ever done before here. So that, that's the most interesting thing for me to do. The fact that we're able, we BAM, are able to accommodate a set that perhaps will never be seen again, and the Opera House being used in a way that's in over 150 years has never been used in this way is pretty spectacular.